most important trend we're seeing in the economy right now is uh, the, just, just the growing reliance on data and formalized uh, prediction uh, systems, algorithms to take advantage of that data for firms to make decisions. In many ways, this can be beneficial. If, you, if you're better at predicting what demand is going to be, then you can better manage inventories. Um, to go back to my last point, there is one dimension of this that I think we should be careful about, which is that the firms that have the most data may be able to take advantage of other people who have less data. And I'm a little bit worried about the possibility that we could see firms uh, like this gig economy, firms that have relationships with workers where they're basically uh, manipulating, the firm is manipulating the relationship with the worker for the benefit of the firm, but the workers are not getting the traditional benefits they got from uh, learning by doing on, on the job. So uh, if you're a business, get with the opportunities there are for harnessing data to make predictions, but watch out for this trend where there's a little bit of kind of predatory behavior that's emerging amongst firms that have the most data, that can predict the most, the best what people are going to do, that can even manipulate a little bit what people are doing. And then as voters, let's try and find ways to reward the firms that do the right thing. And let's not just let the market reward uh, the, the, the predators. And this is why it would be important to track things like what kinds of organizations when a person works there, lead to a successful career for that person, as opposed to what kinds of organizations trap people in a way that limits the progress uh, for the rest of their career.